Hello from the Asheville Art Museum. Welcome to our Museum from Home series, where we offer museum experiences for you to enjoy from afar. Makerspace is a program we have at the Asheville Art Museum that allows you to explore a specific media or material. Today's Makerspace media is homemade clay. Try to visualize some objects you have seen before that were made with clay. Do you have any at home? Today we're going to be looking at 3D artworks that are functional. Who knows what functional art is? Think about the root word, function. Any guesses? Functional art is art that is created for a use, for a job, or a function. Functional art can be used to do something, whereas other types of art might hang on a wall or sit on a shelf. Functional art is still created by an artist and can be beautiful. Let's go on a virtual visit inside the museum to look at a few artworks for inspiration before creating your own at home. The first artwork we're going to look at is titled Rattlesnake Mask. What material was used to make this mask? How was it made? Virgil Crow, a Cherokee woodcarver, created this rattlesnake mask in 2009 by carving wood by hand. Virgil learned this skill in high school. As a member of the tribe of the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians, Virgil was asked to continue in the tradition of Cherokee woodcarving by making masks. How might this mask be functional? How would someone use it? Have you ever worn a mask before or seen someone else wearing a mask? Why did you wear a mask? Virgil creates masks for traditional Cherokee dances and ceremonies. In Cherokee culture, the rattlesnake is respected and feared as a powerful creature. If you were to create your own mask, what powerful animal would you include? What function does our next artwork serve? Can all three objects actually be used? This tea set was created 40 years ago by Dorothy Hafner in 1980. She sculpted each object from a type of clay called porcelain. Notice the patterns created by the lines and shapes decorating the objects. Do they remind you of anything? Dorothy says her artwork has always been inspired by music and dance. Look around your kitchen and see if you can find any cups, bowls, or plates that look handmade or that have fun patterns. If you were to make your own cup or bowl, what designs would you add to it? Our last artwork for inspiration is this hand-woven basket. What material was used to make this basket? How was it made? Rowena Bradley, a renowned Cherokee basket maker, wove this basket from river cane, a tall, tough type of grass. River cane is a natural material that Rowena would collect and cut into strips with just a pocket knife. She learned how to weave baskets from her mother and grandmother when she was just six years old. She wove traditional Cherokee patterns, but also created her own new ones. This basket is the same height and width as a ruler, 12 inches. How might this basket be used? What could it hold? Rowena created this basket to hold a plant. What natural material could you use to create an artwork that could be functional? What would you create? Okay, ready for the activity? We are going to create homemade clay with ingredients you might already have in your pantry. While you're making your clay, start thinking about what function your artwork is going to have. Here's some ideas. 
You could make objects to hold things, like a bowl to collect change or rocks. You could make objects that are toys to play with, or maybe even objects to wear, like jewelry or a mask. You'll need two cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of salt, and one cup of water. You might want to wear an apron. Start by mixing the flour and salt together, then slowly add the water while stirring. Your dough should feel something like Play-Doh, not too wet and not too dry. If it's too wet or sticky, add a little more flour. If it's too dry, add a little more water. Form your dough into a ball and knead it for about five minutes. Kneading is like squeezing or massaging the dough with your hands. This homemade clay recipe was shared with us by a local Asheville artist, Michael Hoffman. Michael creates plates, bowls, and other kinds of functional art out of clay. Here's an example of his artwork holding a plant. Notice the patterns on both pieces. Michael presses antique lace into his clay to give it patterns and texture. You can visit Michael's website, livelifeartfully.com, to learn more about his work and even purchase some too. Back to your clay project. Hopefully you've decided what type of functional art you're making. Use your hands and any tools around the house to help you mold and carve your clay into the shape you want. You can use a pencil or toothpick to draw designs, or you could press things like lace or other fabrics into your clay to make patterns and textures. Once you've finished making your object, with an adult to help you, you can bake it in a 200 degree oven for the clay to harden. The time will vary depending on how thick your clay is, but it will need at least an hour. Thank you from the Asheville Art Museum. Stay connected with us on social media or our website, ashevilleart.org.